Aloha Legacy family and welcome once again to Witness in a Minute where the goal is to provide you the tools and encouragement to carry out the Great Commission. Brace yourself kiddos, this one's going to hurt a little. Genesis 3.9 says, Then the Lord called to the man, Where are you? Now please don't think for a second that God did not know where Adam and Eve were hiding. He knew exactly where they were and exactly what they had done. He also knows exactly where we are and exactly what we have done too. If that doesn't give you pause to think, then maybe you're in more trouble than I thought. So as Christians, isn't it a good idea to ask where we are these days? Here's some survey results that I recently found out about today's Bible-believing American evangelical Christians. 56% agreed with this statement. God accepts the worship of all religions, including Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. 73% agreed with this statement. Jesus is the first and greatest being created by God. And 60% agreed that the Holy Spirit is a force, but not a personal being. And 57% agreed that everyone sins a little, but most people are good by nature. You want to know the worst part? These heresies have been pushed on us by the devil and his minions for centuries. Take a minute and see where we're at. Do you feel as uncomfortable as I do? How can so many of our brothers and sisters in Christ be so misled, so untaught? Now here's the scary part. 2 Thessalonians 2, 11 and 12 says about these last days. Therefore, God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false in order that all may be condemned who did not believe in the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Now, it does give me comfort to know that God still came to the garden and called for Adam and Eve even after they sinned. He wasn't looking for them physically. He was looking for them spiritually. I like to think he was looking for them so they would repent. Unfortunately, all God got from Adam and Eve was excuses. First Adam blamed Eve, and then Eve blamed the serpent. You know the story. This is what the present day culture is famous for. Excuses. So here's my challenge to you. Get into the Bible and find the verses that confirm the blasphemy of the, the statements that so many evangelicals believed in. Then once you are sure you know the truth, keep studying your Bible all the more. Stand firm in your faith, knowing that you have not been misled. And may God bless your next adventure as you witness in a minute. Aloha.